Here's that uh, Canon Hinnant thing again. I, I covered this the other day when someone else did a video on this. Um, so Canon Hinnant um, was tragically murdered a while ago, um, sometime in the last week or two. And people on the right are using ba him as basically a political tool and saying, Look at this white kid who was killed by a black man. Why don't you care about this? Why are you caring about Black Lives Matter? First of all, it implies that you can only care about one thing at a time, which is incredibly stupid and fallacious. Secondly, they claim that this isn't covered by the news when it has been. CNN covered this. Multiple stations have covered this. Tons of websites have covered this. You heard about this, meaning you saw it from a news source somewhere. Thirdly, as tragic as Canon Hidden's death was, it isn't emblematic of a systematic issue. It was a crazy guy who shot him in the face. And that's awful. And I feel for his parents and his family and his community, and it sucks. But it's not the same thing as cops murdering people and getting away with it time and time again. Regardless of what you think of George Floyd as a human being. He was someone who was in the custody of the police and was killed by them. And I don't want to hear, oh, there were drugs in his system. There were barely any drugs in his system. He did not die of an overdose. That is not what the autopsy showed. Stop pushing that stupid talking point. And it wouldn't matter, by the way, what he's done. George Floyd was in the custody of the police, and the police do not have the right to kill people in their uh, uh, custody. So anyway, let's see what uh, Poop Girl has to say about Canon Hinnant. This boy's life mattered. You probably- To quote his mother on the Facebook post, oh good, his mother said something. The mother says, quote, this has nothing to do with race. Stop comparing my son to George Floyd. Oh wow, so the family even is like, stop this nonsense. Stop using my kid as a political tool. And yet here we are. People on the right still doing it, what a shock. It's almost like they don't give a fuck about the family at all. And in fact, just want to use this kid to try and discredit the systematic killing of black people in this country by the police. What a shock. I really have no idea who he is and won't recognize his name when I tell you it. But I'm sure if I flashed up these pictures, you'd be able to tell me all of their names, when they died, and who killed them. That's so right. why isn't canon thank you to riley v scartman for following it's <laughs> a five-year-old boy who was shot in the head and killed while riding his bike this week receiving the same attention that criminals like george floyd and michael brown did where are all the protests where are all the marches and where what are we, what would you be protesting for? Genuinely. The murderer was caught within 24 hours and charged. So what would you be protesting? People don't just go protest for no reason because they're mad. People go protest to change things. The reason that the George Floyd death prompted so much action and so many protests is because there are actionable demands by people who are putting these protests on. If you go and look at the Black Lives Matter website, they have specific things that could be changed within the policing systems in this country in order to help alleviate the issues that we have where black people are being targeted by the police. In this case, it was a random act of violence where this kid was shot by a crazy guy. And that's tragic. But it has nothing to do with something that's actionable. Unless you think that you're going to all of a sudden come up with Tom Cruise Minority Report pre-crime. There's absolutely nothing that could have been changed systematically to save that kid. Outside of maybe gun control. But people on the right don't want that. So what are you thinking you should be protesting over? And fuck it. If you want to go protest over this kid getting murdered for some reason... That's your right. Go protest. No one's stopping you. <laughs> Where is the national outrage? There is none. And the reason is very simple. Because Cannon was white and his killer was black. No, I think I already actually talked about this too. In the previous video, child killed. In the past month or so, I looked this up. There have been multiple kids killed, right? And it's sad. It's tragic anytime a kid dies, anytime anyone dies for that matter. But like, here's a kid who died, 
three-year-old girl killed by father in double shooting. This isn't getting, like, national press in the same way that, like, George Floyd is. Like, you can find tons of kids getting killed in the past month, and it's always tragic. But it doesn't become national news because when kids die in this way, it's usually because of some psycho, like, nanny or a mom or someone, a stranger in this particular case of the Hinnant case. This little girl died, too. Turning she now. was murdered. Like... This stuff doesn't usually become national news because, unfortunately, kids die a lot. Because there's a lot of psychos, right? And if you want to advocate for, like, expanding social services and mental health care to stop stuff like this happening, that's awesome. And you should do that. And you should go out and protest if that's your goal. But if your goal is to just raise this kid up as a political prop and a concern troll, then fuck you. You are the one disrespecting the memory of this poor child. Okay? Therefore, his life isn't important to Democrats, and it's racist to even report on this. this no, it's not. I'm literally covering it right here, and I covered it last, like, last week, too. You can report this all you want. CNN literally had a report on this. It's a thing that tons of news outlets have reported on. It's not racist. No one cares. The story of Cannon's death is one of the most horrifying and saddening things you'll ever hear. And th That's debatable. I'd argue, like, oh, uh, I'm not gonna play moral fucking math on this one, but, like, is it tragic? Yeah, but kids get killed often, and it's always a tragedy. But to hyperbolically say, this is the worst thing I've ever heard! All right. Guess you haven't heard a lot of crimes then. Wait until you hear about Casey Anthony. And the media silence is even sadder. W-R-A-L- Or Chris Watts. That dude killed his uh, wife and two daughters and then dumped the kids' bodies in an oil tank. L.com reports, Before he went to the funeral for his five-year-old son on Thursday, a Wilson man tearfully recalled the boy's brief life and tragic death. Cannon Hinnant was riding a bike- Snopes just debunked that the media isn't covering this? I mean, yeah, Snopes is great, but you don't even need to, like... But you don't even need Snopes for this one. You can literally just search Cannon Hinnant and then hit news. And then there's CNN, there's the New York Post, there's the Washington Post. There's tons of affiliates. Like, the right's talking point that no one is covering this is patently and observably false. It's the most ridiculous lie because anyone Outside can take five seconds to Google it and find out that it's untrue. Father's home when a neighbor walked up to him and shot him in the head, witnesses told police. They were just playing in the yard like any other day, Austin Hennett said Thursday of Cannon and his eight and seven year old sisters. Hennett said he heard a gunshot as his fiance walked into the house on Archer's Road at about 5.30 p.m. The article continues. By the way, I think, th I'm assuming they probably, yeah, they linked to the GoFundMe. I'll do this again. I linked to this too, because this sucks for this family. If you wanted to help support the family, here's a link to their GoFundMe. Because that shit's terrible. And I know money's not going to, like, fix anything, but I'd imagine they're going to want to take a decent bit of time off of work, because they can't deal with this. Their lives are, like, irreparably changed. And hey, if you want to throw them a couple bucks, go for it. Darius Sessoms, 25, was charged with first-degree murder and Cannon's death and was arrested Monday in Goldsboro. Hennett said he has lived next door to Simmons and his parents for eight years and even had him over for dinner just on Saturday. The Lord says to love our neighbor. I have plenty of food to go around. I just wanted to be nice, Hennett said, noting that he and Sessoms sat on his porch and drank a beer. He said he had never had any confrontations with Sessoms. Wait, did I not link that correctly? Hold on. Sorry. Oh, whoopsie. Yeah, I didn't copy-paste correctly, so I just did the same thing that it was already on my clipboard. That's my bad. Apologies. Copy. Paste. There you go. That worked that time. There wasn't anything between me and him. Any bad blood whatsoever for him to have a reason to do this, he said. After Cannon was shot, Hennant said he scooped the wounded boy into his arms. I screamed, somebody, please help me save my son. Help me save my son, please, he said. The article concludes, 
A neighbor came over with an EMT bag, he said, adding that he fell to his knees and prayed aloud. Did I see your video yet? What video? There's nothing funny about the tools of capitalism. Stephen J. Neptune Man with 50 bits. This is right-wing virtue signaling. I don't believe in the term virtue signaling. I think it's typically a way of completely throwing away what someone has said and not addressing it, more or less. I think there are better ways to express yourself. And I think it's fair to express that these people are using this dead child as a prop. And that's completely fair to point out. But the term virtue signaling has been so overused that it basically means nothing at this point. So. You can't imagine what it's like to hold your son in your arms with a gunshot wound to the head and his blood is running down your arms, he said. Meanwhile, he said, Sesums was pacing nearby, gun in hand, before driving off. I was looking at him as I was picking up Cannon, he said. I was so full of rage, but I couldn't leave my son's side. I wanted to be with my son, Hennett said. He has no idea why Cannon was killed. Just yesterday, the Hennett family said their final goodbyes to Cannon as they laid him to rest in Wilson, North Carolina. But Cannon didn't get sent off like a hero. He's not being treated like a saint, and he didn't die while committing a crime. He was an innocent five-year-old boy that died a senseless death. Hey, here's the thing. It doesn't matter that George Floyd was suspected of passing a $20 bill that may have been counterfeit. The sentence for that, A isn't death and b even if it were the cops aren't executioners their job is to arrest people and then hold them until it's time for their trial which we are all afforded under the constitution the cops don't get to murder people i know i know you want cops to be able to murder people That's i right. get that propaganda. but you don't get to do that that's not okay so no for absolutely no reason and yet the mainstream media has barely said a peep about him Thanks, which is strange considering how much attention they gave to 12 year old Samir Rice when he was killed by police after aiming a toy gun at people do you understand the difference between a random crazy person who's already been arrested killing someone and a police officer or police officers who are supposed to be public servants murdering people, especially in the case of this kid who was innocent? Do you understand the moral or at least practical difference between the two? Because the guy who killed Cannon Hinnant is already in jail. No protesting needed to happen to get him arrested, right? The police acted reasonably here and arrested him immediately after they found him and charged him. In this case, I don't know what happened. I don't. But I know in the George Floyd case, those cops didn't get arrested until people spoke up. And in other cases that are currently going on in terms of, like, public outcry for people who've been murdered by the police, the Breonna Taylor case, for instance, those cops are still walking free, right? We hold our public servants, or should, to very high standards because they have power over people. Random people who are crazy shooting kids in the head is fucked up, and it's sad, but it's not a systematic issue. It just isn't. There's always going to be people in this world who hurt other people for all kinds of reasons. But what we shouldn't do is to allow those people into positions of power where they can use that power to hurt people without any repercussions for themselves. And that's the issue that's going on in cases like the George Floyd death, right? In a park that everyone thought looked very real. And yet, Cannon Hinnant, who was murdered in cold blood while riding his bike outside his home, gets silenced. Right, so the other kid wasn't murdered in cold blood? You don't think that's okay? Is it because of the color of his skin? Because it really sounds like you think it's because of the color of his skin. JDAM90, thanks for hosting. <laughs> Walsh hit it out of the park in a tweet the other day where he wrote, Reverse the races, and this is the only thing anyone talks about for a month. Actually, I th doubt. If the guy was a police officer, yeah. But random people kill kids all the time. It's often parents or family members, right? 
but people kill kids all the time. It's always tragic, but it's rarely national news. Even in certain cases, like the Casey Anthony case where it did become national news, that wasn't just because a kid died. It was because the mom is also crazy, right? Like, if you haven't heard the whole story behind the Casey Anthony stuff, check it out. There are plenty of YouTube channels, but, like, she was lying to the cops uh, about working at, like, Universal Studios. She was, like, lying to her parents about... Like, that was a whole thing. That was interesting for a variety of reasons, not just because a kid died. I think it would be the only thing they talk about for at least one to two years if the left is still rioting over George Floyd nearly three months after the fact. Could you because things haven't changed, because the systematic issues that the protests began because of haven't been addressed by most places. Can you imagine the outrage if a white man senselessly shot a black child outside of his home? The out about the same as what's happening for Cannon Hinnant. Kids get killed. I literally linked to some instances of people, like, who aren't white getting killed when we were looking at news stories. Those also weren't national news. The reason that the George Floyd murder is national news is because the perpetrator was a cop. And the people who watched it happen were cops. Cops should be held to at least the same standard as us, but no, probably higher, because they have authority over the general populace. Outrage would far surpass anything we've seen with the George Floyd protest. Can and Hennon's life matter too, unless- No one's saying it didn't. You are racist. Someone's skin color should not be a factor when deciding if we should memorialize someone's death. If you- Then memorialize Can and Hennon's death. No one's stopping you. When they talk about the George Floyd murder and the protests, it isn't specifically about George Floyd. It's about the fact that black communities have been telling us for decades that this kind of thing has happened, and now in the age where everyone's carrying cameras around with them 24 hours a day, we see this time and time again of police abusing their power, of overusing force, of hurting people, and sometimes killing people with disregard for their safety or their position. Like, it's a systematic issue. We don't have a systematic issue of random people going into kids' yards and shooting them in the face. If that becomes a systematic issue, and you have a way to solve that issue, by all means, fix it. Fuck it, go out and protest today about Cannon Hinnant. I don't know what you'd be protesting. The murderer is already locked up and charged and now just awaiting trial. So what, what, I don't understand. Do you think protesting is a thing you do for no reason? You do it to get things changed. You are going to be selectively outraged over the deaths of only black people, but ignore the gruesome murder of a five-year-old white boy? Then I have some news for you. No one's ignoring it. It's sad. I agree. You are a racist. I have- Not particularly. I have a lot more opinions that I want to tell you guys about this that I'm afraid would get me censored here on social media. <laughs> I'm assuming in her head the systematic issue is that a black man was allowed to A, own a gun, and B, walk the streets unimpeded. Which is why you need to go to libertyhangout.tv right now to watch the full uncut version of this video. Guess that's something we're going to look into. I wish I could give you guys my full opinion right here, but we all know Big Tech won't let us. But if you go- <laughs> In other words, I have a bunch of racist shit I want to say, but I can't say it. My name is Kate. Oh, shut up, Caitlin. Uh, I guess we're going to have to take a look at Liberty Hangout once I get a membership. <laughs> Go to libertyhangout.tv, you'll be able to see my uncensored thoughts. So not only has- Hold on. Yeah, we watched this pangolin rolls in mud thing. We already watched that. I don't know if you weren't here during it, but we did watch that. The left been completely silent about the murder of Cannon Hennett, but when the mainstream media finally did dis- Hi, I'm a leftist. I'm talking about this and talking about you talking about this. Decide to report on it. 
They approached it much- Make sure I'm using a fake discount. Yeah. Yeah. Different than any other story. Before I show you CNN's article about Canon, let me show you some other stories they've written very recently. A new video shows another black man in custody pleading, I can't breathe before his death. Uh, cats are neat too with 65 bits for the Liberty subscription fund. Thank you. After a white man repeatedly erased girl's Black Lives Matter chalk drawing in front of her home, neighbors stepped in to show support. White woman who called police on a black man. Yes, the first one that you talked about is because, again, it's the police abusing their power and hurting someone who's a minority, right? The second one is just a human interest story about a douchey white dude erasing a girl's Black Lives Matter chalk thing. I see the source you're using is CNN, by the way. CNN, which covered the Canon Hinnant murder. Neighbors watching in Central And then we have white woman called police on a black man bird watching in Central Park, and she got fired, which is hilarious. Um, yes, once again, it was a woman who was specifically using the fact that this guy was black in order to threaten him with the police. Basically, that story was she wasn't having a leash on her dog, despite there being a leash law here where she was, wherever it was. Was it Central Park? Yeah. Um, and the guy was like, hey, you need to put a leash on the dog. And she's like, I'm going to call the police and say a black man is assaulting me. Like, yeah, she's using the guy's race against him and trying to weaponize the police against him, knowing that police are going to be on her side because she's white. That's the issue with that one. And again, your source is CNN. CNN covered Canon Hinnant's death. So, what's your point? Weepy little sheepy with 100 bits. Do these people forget one of the highest profile child cases, John Bonet Ramsey? People point out child cases all the time. It's just not a systematic issue, you know. They're, they know. They know what they're doing. They're not arguing in good faith. They're trying to, like, this is what crazies on the right do. They know that what they're saying most of the time is bullshit, right? She knows that the news has covered Can and Hinnon's death, and she understands that there's a difference between this and the George Floyd death, right? Or any police abuse of power story. She understands this. But she's not going to say what she actually believes like you or I would. She's going to say, strategically, what could I do to get people in the center who just want to grill to come over to my side... So she will, instead of actually speaking her mind honestly, say whatever lie she thinks will get people to think that strategically she is correct. It's disgusting. Central Park has been fired. The black children who had guns drawn on them in a stolen vehicle mix-up are traumatized, the mother says. Yes. So here's the thing. Uh, Caitlin, I do care about Canon Hinnant's death. It's tragic. It's incredibly tragic. So why don't you care about these kids, right? The same way you care about Can and Hinnant. Because you're using this as an example of something that you apparently think is frivolous, right? And you're being like, I don't care. Who cares? The cops pulled guns on kids who were doing nothing wrong. Shouldn't you care about that? Sure, race is an issue here. But let's say they were white kids. Should the police be able to pull guns on kids doing nothing because they suspect them of a crime? Is that okay? And then here's the headline that CNN wrote about Cannon Hinnant. A 25-year-old man has been charged in the shooting death of 5-year-old Cannon Hinnant. Okay. Yes. That's accurate to what happened. The propaganda here could not be any more clear. They because the races of the people involved in that crime are not relevant, Caitlin. The fact that Cannon was white and the perpetrator was black have nothing to do with the motivations for the murder. It wouldn't come up. However, in the story of, like, the kids being pulled over by the cops, it's pretty clear that race was part of why that happened, which is why it gets brought up in the title only mention someone's race when they can paint white people in a negative light and or how about this they only mention race when race is relevant to the story you're talking about that sounds like it makes more sense paint a black person as a victim but when the rules are reversed it's just a 25 year old man and five year old canon Hennant. caitlin 
Explain to me what you think the role of race was in the Cannon Hint murder. Or is that something that you can only put on your website because you think it would be too spicy for YouTube? Gee, if your opinion is so evil that they won't allow it on YouTube, maybe reconsider your stance. In fact, in the article itself, there is zero use of the word white, zero use of the word black, and zero mention okay. of how he was shot in the head. Okay. And... Whereas in this article, CNN made sure to let you know eight times that the children in this Because it's relevant to the story. ...video were black. And in this article about Amy Cooper, CNN was sure... Because it's relevant to the story, because she's the one that brought up race. She specifically said, I'm gonna call the police and tell them a black man is assaulting me. This lady made it about race, not CNN sure to let you know six times that she was white because obviously you can't tell from just watching the video but when canon hennett was killed in cold blood by his black neighbor suddenly the color of their skin doesn't matter anymore to because it's not relevant to why he shot canon can you explain to me why you think that's relevant to the story CNN. There isn't even anything wrong with CNN's headline about canon. In fact, more of their headlines should probably be written this way and exclude anyone's race from the title. It, it depends upon the story. If the story involves someone's race in some way, in a way that it is relevant to the story, it makes sense to include it. If it doesn't, then it doesn't make sense to do so. It's just hypocritical that race is only important to them when Whitey is the bad guy and the black person in the story is a victim. And it reveals all the propaganda behind the mainstream media. Why won't the news be racist like me? Anything not racist like me is propaganda. And behind black galaxy brain lives matter. If they cared about innocent lives, there would be huge protests in the street right now for Cannon. For what? No, there wouldn't be. Wait, did she say if he was a cop? About propaganda behind the mainstream media and behind Black Lives Matter. If they cared about innocent lives, there would be huge ah. protests in the street right now for Cannon. It's not just about innocent lives, though, Caitlin. It's about police misconduct. It's amazing that you cover Black Lives Matter so often and you still don't seem to get what the point is. It's not just innocent lives are taken every day. Black Lives Matter is specifically about innocent lives being taken because of the police. But the problem is that they don't care. And the only reason they don't care is because he was white. No, I care. I care in the same way I care about any kid who gets murdered. It's tragic, but we live in a world of almost 8 billion people. A lot of kids get killed. Like I said, it's always tragic. But if it's not tied to a systematic issue, what do you want me to do about it? It's not tied to a systematic issue. The only systematic issue it could possibly be tied to is if you are racist and you think the fact that the murderer was black has anything to do with the crime. And that would be a racist point of view if you think because he's black, it had something to do with the murder. Because it doesn't. But I know you guys aren't that heartless and you guys will care about Cannon's life and the lives of anyone else who dies. Classy of you, by the way, in this video about uh, a child being murdered to show off your autographed photo of Donald Trump. So much class. Regardless of their skin color. That's why I'm urging you guys to share this video and share this GoFundMe called Justice for Cannon to help his parents with their funeral costs and grieving. You can find the link down below in the description. I shared that in the chat. Let's say his name and let's make his photo just as recognizable as a photo of George Floyd. His name is Cannon Hennett. Jill and Allie, and his three, life thanks for following. Too. Go to Liberty Hangout. Oh, poop girl. We'll take a look at Liberty Hangout's website in the next couple weeks or something. We'll look at some of their... Not safe for YouTube vids.